It's the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion. This is for Wednesday, September the 11th. I'm Michael Graff. A warming and drying trend beginning today with temperatures going back to above normal levels by the end of the week and into the weekend. But a return to more active and potentially cooler weather by the first half of next week. Let's see if we can find out some more details on that. But first, we'll check out the Almanac from yesterday. 100 degrees was the high in the valley. 83 the morning low. And no rain officially in the bucket at Sky Harbor, but some spots over the North and East Valley saw some precipitation yesterday morning. Outside now here at 740 a.m., we've got partly cloudy skies out there. 81 degrees presently at Sky Harbor, but it is drying out. Look at the dew point down to 54, relative humidity 39 percent. Wind from the north at six miles per hour and the barometer is rising. Temperatures around the area right now, 69, the cool spot up there on Thompson Peak. But most of us across the metro are in the mid 70s to low 80s. The upper air look features a trough moving into the western states, and that is helping to bring about the drier air as the winds aloft turn out of the west, though there could still be a few showers around south-central Arizona, including the valley this morning. The watch warning map, a sign that fall is in the air with winter weather advisories now over northeastern Montana. Some snowflakes flying there. Flash flood watches over parts of the Plain states. We've had a few flash flood warnings as well this morning in uh, sections of Nebraska and South Dakota. And the convective outlook for today, an enhanced risk of severe storms over parts of Nebraska. The broader severe weather risk extends really from the far eastern Rockies through the northern plains, the Great Lakes, and into parts of the northeast and the middle Atlantic. The tropics very active in the Atlantic Basin. We have three areas of concern on the board here. One is a wave that's over the central Atlantic approaching the Caribbean islands. A low end chance that that develops. Same thing for this system behind it. Near the Cape Verde Islands right now, again, about a 20% chance of development over the next five days. We'll keep an eye on those. We're more concerned about this wave over the Bahamas currently, and this is one that will have to be watched. The National Hurricane Center gives this a 60% chance of development over the next five days. This is Invest 95L, and looking at some of the modeling on this, the tropical models, many of them bring it across the Florida Peninsula. A couple of them try to curve it out to sea. And the GFS Ensemble, on the other hand, brings it uh, right across the Florida Keys. At least the Ensemble mean does. That's the black line. And then you see many of the models are pretty clustered there over the Florida Strait or South Florida. One model brings it up to Apalachicola, another to Mobile. Many of them to around New Orleans. That's where the Ensemble mean is. One as far west as Houston. The bottom line is there is still a great deal of uncertainty in this, uh, if, if it even develops. But... Uh, obviously, this is one that has to be monitored very carefully. Conditions over the Gulf will be favorable for development over the next several days with broad high pressure there. All right, closer to home. The precipitation outlook valid through next Wednesday morning from the WPC. Rain amounts here in Metro Phoenix around a tenth of an inch or so, nearly an inch over parts of eastern Arizona. Your amount will vary. And this is mainly for active weather we're expecting late in the weekend and next week, which we'll detail now as we check out the models and have a look at it. This is the GFS, the 06Z run valid at uh, 2 o'clock this afternoon. There's our upper trough moving through the western states, turning the flow aloft more out of the west. The drier air will be coming in, so down at the surface, partly sunny skies, isolated showers, maybe a light thunder shower around this morning, and then we'll see decreasing clouds. High temperatures this afternoon, mid to upper 90s. Tonight, with mostly clear skies, lows should drop in the 70s for most of us. Should feel pretty good. And then tomorrow, sunny and warmer. Highs 100 to 103. High pressure continues to build northward across the southwest states for Friday. Highs 103 to 106. Pretty much the same deal on Saturday. But there is a bit of moisture moving into the higher terrain of eastern Arizona for isolated showers and thunderstorms. But the valley should stay dry. Then on Sunday, more moisture shown to seep into eastern Arizona for widely scattered showers and thunderstorms there. A few of those might come into the valley Sunday night. We've introduced a slight chance of storms then. High temperatures, 100 to 103. Monday, the global models in excellent agreement on the idea of a potent trough moving into the western United States. The old U-shaped trough, deep southerly flow over Arizona for quite a bit of moisture coming into the eastern two-thirds of the state. Scattered to even numerous showers and thunderstorms would be likely. And a few of those could be on the strong side. Now, this is still several days out. Uh, the models, uh, of course, could flip-flop between now and then. A lot can change. We've been teased before. But right now, there's excellent agreement on this. So unsettled weather would return. And also cooler temperatures with the presence of troughing. High temperatures likely in the mid and upper 90s. By Tuesday, that system begins to move through the western states. Drier air would be coming in, but still a slight chance of showers and storms in here. High temperatures in the low and mid-90s, if this verifies. 
Go out to a week from today. This is Wednesday, the 18th of September. Deep trough now over the Rockies and across the western states. So cooler, drier air coming in. Those overnight lows for some spots down in the 60s. Low to mid-70s in the urban core and high temperatures only in the 90s. That'll feel pretty nice after this long, hot summer. Then go down 10 days. This is the end of the forecast period. Friday the 20th, a ridge in the east, a ridge along the west coast, a trough over the middle of the nation, and we would be seeing temperatures fairly seasonal and conditions to remain dry. Let's check out the temperatures through the period coming off of the European Ensemble. There's our warming trend for the end of the week and into the weekend. And then temperatures cooling off again at the prospect of unsettled weather for the beginning of next week. And those overnight lows dropping into the 70s and in some spots probably down into the 60s as what we like to call fall around here slowly starts to creep in. And that's just about it for the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion for today. My next video back here tomorrow morning. If you like our videos, be sure to subscribe so that whenever we post a brand new one, you'll get the notifications. Your comments, questions, and suggestions are always encouraged as well. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Be safe out there and have yourselves a fantastic Wednesday.